a truth universally acknowledged, that every now and again a situation arises that defies explanation. And so it was with the ascension of the Third Street Saints. When the Saints made their presence known to the world in 2006, they were decried for being pretenders to the throne. The people were confused. Were the Saints sociopathic killing machines hell-bent on destruction? Or puckish rogues living a life of mirth and whimsy? The Saints needed clarity of purpose, and so the course was set. More fun, less mercy killing. This simple choice revitalized the Saints, transforming them from a degenerate street gang into beloved pop culture icons. But even then, the Saints were not satisfied. For it's one thing to be revered as a hero, it is another to be a hero. And that, my friends, is where our journey begins. Did he catch that, boss? Mike is dead. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm sorry. I forgot to check the battery because I was busy coordinating an international assassination. Hey, can we go back to the part about this being a setup? It's not a setup. The intel is good. You trust this lady? Ash is one of the good guys. Oleg knows her from the KGB days. Oh, she's tied with the KGB. I feel a lot better. Look, Bert and I worked with her too. She's fine. Oh yeah, I'm sure she's great at putting someone in a fucking body bag. That doesn't mean we should. Showtime. We're three minutes behind schedule. We need to move. You're a real people person, aren't you? I'm sorry, is this a counter-terrorist operation or a Saints flow shoot? I'm Sean. Arshiro Dakar, follow me. We're here. Didn't expect them to be all business. We know what's at stake. Do you? Look, lady, this motherfucker knows how to get shit done. Don't you worry about me. What's security? My tech guy brought us a ten minute window. If we move fast, we'll only need to worry about the guards on foot. How many of those are there? Don't know about the numbers inside, but there are about eight marching the perimeter. On my signal, we... Oh, hell. We gotta move! Hassim, Allah, you're going to get Subtlety is not really our thing. Come on, this way. Base, are you there? What are we walking into? I'm looking at suggests... Hold on. Hide. Truck on its way. Wait a minute. Your handler is... Was that Matt Miller? Kinsey, be nice. But seriously, what the hell? Matt Miller is a brilliant hacker, a venerated agent of MI6, and a key member of our operation. And the fact that he tried to kill us. What's past is past. We are all working together now. Let's focus on the job. As I was saying... Hold that thought, Matt. Guards ahead. Hold position. Let's take him out quietly. Bye, bye, bye. 
Matt, you were saying? The nuke is stashed deep in the compound. It's likely primed and ready to go. Getting booted from the U.S. sent Siren Temple off the deep end, but teaming up with terrorists? Seriously? And we're in. Get my back. You should be nearing the missile. Soldiers everywhere, so be alert. Attention, attention, please. Quiet, listen. Stay, stay, you can make it. Got it. Take it personal. Why would I should have killed you in Steelboard? Or maybe take it personal. You ruined Steelboard, ruined America. Monologuing. Our leaders failed America by letting you live. Time to destroy Washington and start over. Nothing can stop me now, especially you. Uh huh. Cyrus is serious. Way, people. Every mission has its bumps. Bump? You call that a bump? You're alive, aren't you? To go through that door. On. Let's see how you can handle yourself, Mr. Celebrity. We'll be on mic. Handle myself? Shit. I can handle myself. We should be really close to the missile silo now. Stay alert. Cyrus is such a burk when it comes to security. No sign of the target, but we're looking at a stockpile of explosives and chemicals here. I can't tell what kind. It's explosives and chemicals, lady. What else you need to know? Yo, we're here. Target is just ahead. Target's next room. Damn it! Coming out the front! Let's deal with this first. 
There he is. Quick, get ahead of him! Steal an insolent child!
On the campaign trail, I said I was going to accomplish a lot of things. I could- For too long, the American people have suffered under the yoke of a healthcare system. I know there has been a lot of questions regarding my- Something dangerous, some- I'd like to- My fellow Americans, I know a lot of people have concerns about the Sunday, Sunday, Sunday act. But I urge everyone to remember how fucking awesome my- I know some- on My fellow Americans. I know a lot of people for and as my, my fellow Americans, I know a lot of people have concerns about the sun. We say America, we say America is a, we say America is a country of opportunity. A country where we are free to pursue our interests and follow our dreams. We say America is a country, we say, we say, we say, we, 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 we say America is a country of opportunity. We say America, we say America is a country of opportunity. A country where we are free to pursue our interests and follow our dreams. But one thing they don't tell you is that sometimes people judge you for following those dreams. I'm here today to tell you that we 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 we, we say America is a, we say America is we say Amer we say America is a country we say America is we say America is a country of opportunity. A country where we are free to pursue our interests and we say a we 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 say America is a country of opportunity. A country where we are free. We say America. We say America. We, we, we say America is a country of opportunity. A country where we are free to pursue our interests and follow our dreams. We say America is a. We say. We say. We say America is a country of opportunity. We say America. We say America is a country of opportunity. A country where we are free to pursue our interests and follow our dreams. This will feel good. What you get? Look at you. Right up. Thank you. Hey, we should grab drinks. Huh? You go. Yeah, I got your back. Nice job. Saddle up, boys. Saddle up. Right on. Don't be illogical. Ho! You ready for this? Let's get down! Looking good. I am the king of this shit! Hey, good to see you. Give it up! What you need is a champion. 
check you out. That's right, time to work it. Here we go. Huh. How was that? This will feel good. Ow! Hell yeah! You like that? This is a problem. It's not a problem. You alienated part of America. I alienated crazy people. You couldn't resist, could you? Jesus, not you two. This is a problem. I keep trying to explain that, but the president won't listen. Poverty is a problem. Apartheid is a problem. This is just a couple of... Here's the latest approval poll. We lost 20 points. We can get them back. They're at 20 points. I'll admit that's a little lower than anticipated. So you agree you have a problem? Nope, you do. You're the communications director. Fix this. Can you give me 100% employment? No. Will you get married? Then I'm thinking we're in trouble. Gang, can you have this naysayer assassinated? Not when you say it publicly. You're more fun as a gang leader. We have a country to run. Fun isn't part of the equation. Where's the septic truck when you need one? Ah, I hope Keith has some good news. Sorry, this area isn't secure. This area is sealed off. Sorry. I'm really not looking forward to this press conference. Listen, we've got enough clout right now for one major bill, not both. What do you want me to push forward? Do you want to be the president who cured cancer or the president who solved world hunger? Speaking of hunger, tell the kitchen to send up a panda burger, will you? Good choice. Kinsey's keeping the sharks at bay. Now, you listen here. If you think you can cram your agenda past Congress, you are in for a rude awakening. You hear me? Now, let me tell you a little something about the greatest word in politics. Filibuster. I got a word for you. Shut the fuck up. I think I cut my knuckle on that senator's teeth. Oleg and I are about to head over to Camp David to watch some Nightblade. Yep. You down? Boom! That yeah, saved me some popcorn this time. I'm your number one fan! Nice work, Oleg.
Zint's words were taken out of context. Kinsey, what's the right context for, and I quote, I'm the patron saint of America. We should probably look into changing the Pledge of Allegiance to one nation under me. That's a great question. Jane? I think we have a problem. Oh, not you two. How many times do I have Asha to- Asha and Miller are waiting for you in the Oval Office. If MI6 needed something, they would send it up the chain, not fly across an ocean. They said nobody back home believes them. Jesus, what's going on? They think we're about to be attacked by aliens. Yeah, I gotta go. This is serious. You know that Kinsey's been saying the same thing. When did you start taking Kinsey seriously? When the people who helped us save the world said we should. All right. I'll swing by after I... <laughs> Time for celebration. Today, the best and brightest among you will find salvation within the Zin Empire. I'm smarter than all these people. Delightful. Kitsy, go! <laughs> Protect the president! I do love your spirit, my dear. I'm Zinyak. Pleasure to meet you. Would you like to join me for a ride? <laughs> Get off me! Alright, time to get some guns. Reports are coming in from all over. From Japan to the UAE. We got your back. Australia, Rio, and beyond of saucers in the sky. Not a joke. Aliens have found us, and they are men. Should have gone every five steps. Every five steps, I say. There you are. Thank God you're all right. You okay? Where's Matt? Upstairs, trying to find out what's happening. What is happening? All out war, by the looks of it. I'm meeting up with Matt. I'll be in touch via comm. Be careful. Now, huh? Come on! 
on, this way! What the fuck? Hey! Assholes. Hello there. Welcome aboard. I'm gonna hang you over the fireplace, you alien fuck! Now, now. Not so fast. Ow! Shit! 
Did you really think you could stop me? Shit! Oh, human arrogance. Is there anything more charming? Do what exactly? Huh? Bravado me to death? <laughs> I'm going to have fun breaking you. <laughs> My goodness me! What a dream! Gosh, what a glorious day. <laughs> Breakfast sure smells good. Morning, dear. I made your favorite breakfast. Oh, Mr. King from across the street is going out of town for a few weeks. He was wondering if you could check his mail for him. Oh, and your friend Pierce called. I'm sure he has some crazy new get-rich scheme. Oh, that Pierce. Such a card. And someone named Dex stopped by earlier. I didn't recognize him, so I just sent him away. I think I heard Timmy deliver the paper earlier. Could you fetch it, dear? Sure thing, dear. I diddly eye, neighbor! Well, I wonder what's going on in the world today. You ready to meet the fine people of Steelport? Well, get in the car. Uh, don't I usually drive? It's your world. Go ahead. They sure are anxious to meet you. Uh, they? <laughs> well, you do have a queer sense of humor. Why does this all look so weird? Now, what's that you say? Something's wrong. This is all... Can't wait to get out to the lake this weekend. I hear the fish are really biting. The, the fish are... What, what are you talking about? Don't you worry now. We're almost there. What's going on? There's something wrong with this car. Oh, careful now. Well, 
Here we are. Why don't you glad hand a bit? We got time. Looks like it's time. Your public is waiting. Oh, my stars, it's the president. Hi, how are what the f we don't use that kind of language here in Steelport. But you have to break free. Break free? From what? The place you're in isn't real. Whatever it's having you do, you need to stop. I'm driving a car. Okay, good. There's a park nearby. Head there and give me a sec. Brace yourself. Wait, brace for... Oh my god! I need some more time before I can get you out. It'd be really helpful if you could just, you know... Just be you. Be Nolan? Okay. The simulation is all about normalcy. Pleasantry, order, all the things you do. Go forth. Unleash hell. All hell to me. Sending you something. Find the cat fountain. I left you a present. Aw, oh, Jeepers, this is peachy. Couldn't leave well enough alone, could you? You had to push and push and push. 
I hope you've enjoyed your last moments. I'm impressed. Where the hell are... Oh, fuck me. I should have realized a prison of peace would never hold a sociopath like yourself. I'm more of a puckish rogue. A rose by any other name. Are you trying to kill me or sleep with me? Charming. See, there you go with those mixed messages again. Then allow me to be perfectly clear. I am the architect of your reality. I build what I want. I destroy what I want. And your bravado means nothing. Fighting back is pointless, my friend. There's nowhere to run. You belong to me. Now, on to more pleasant things. I'm going to place you in your new home. Try to run again, and I'll destroy your pitiful planet. TTFN. My friends, each of you are guilty of crimes against the Zin Empire. But today is your lucky day. Today, you get to be a part of a new work release program. Swear your fealty, and I will empower you to be Wardens of Simulation 31. You will have one purpose. Torment the President of the United States. Beyond that, the world is yours to toy with. Ravage it. Indulge in your basest desire. It makes no difference to me. Just leave the prisoner alive. I want them broken. Not dead. Go now and tear their world asunder. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. How the hell am I hearing you? I, I don't have a phone on. I just patched myself into your simulation and projected my voice through the audio system. You should be able to hear me from anywhere. And you don't have to yell. Okay, because that's not a little creepy. Kinsey, I'm unarmed here. How about getting me out? You can't do that until I backtrace your signal to your physical body. Until then, you're stuck there. So you might want to go buy a gun. Right. Friendly fire it is. Set your GPS from the map in your hub. Oh. It's like a digital information pad. It's... I like those mobile devices all the kids have these days. Oh, can I play games on it? <laughs> I don't play games. Can I get bored? No. So you will be able to get me out of here, right? Eventually. I'm still trying to figure out the Zen systems. Basic hacks like hooking into the audio system isn't hard. Trying to disconnect you and find your body, that's a bit more involved. Hey, what about getting me out of this fucking sweater vest? How hard is that? On my list of priorities, that doesn't even make my top 500. If you were wearing this, I'm sure you'd up that priority. If I was wearing that, I'd be asking you to shoot me in the head. What the hell is that big dome? Hmm, not sure. I'll have to look into that. 
Zinyak has people all over the city here. From what I can see, a lot's been taken over by the Zin. There's alien technology everywhere. You gotta be enjoying this. Just a little. It's cold! I don't know. Maybe. Why? Oh, I was thinking if it was, we could get Elto to rebuild it. We'll add more defenses, more weapons, a few underground jet hangers. Maybe some air hockey. Are you serious? Well, maybe a few more stripper poles in the bedrooms. Am I right? <laughs> I am right. More? You already had some stripper poles? I had one installed like the first day I was in office. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Be the present. Are we sure buying guns is something I'm allowed to do here? I don't know. Do you remember how to shop for yourself, or did being president make you too good for that?
You got something useful, because the cops are swarming your location. What are they, liberals? Have they heard of the Second Amendment? Zinyak's running this place. I don't think the Constitution has any big deal. Just like Johnny Cotton. Yeah. <laughs> so now, will I just keep my head down until you can pull me out of this place? Not yet. There's a Zim Patrol close to you that'll need to be cleared out before that happens. That is, if the president's up for killing a few more aliens. Why, thank you, Miss Press Secretary. That sounds like a perfect idea. What can I say? I'm good at my job. You're just not good at subtle. True. Hi guys! Looking for me? Just kill them and leave already. Wasn't anyone hurt? Hey, time to lay low for a bit. Use my warehouse. It's not far. Warehouse? Is there a nice hotel around? What's wrong with my inner sanctum? Ah, oh, nothing. Nothing at all. God, I'm so... Uh, Kinsey? Yeah, all your shit's gone. What? Damn it! Zinyak removed all signs of the Saints from the simulation. That means... There's no more safe houses for us in the city. Great! Fucking great. Right. So, what do we do about that? Hmm. Not sure yet. Though any hope you can give with gathering information on systems in the simulation would be useful. I'll leave any tasks I have for you in the quest section of your hub. Got it. Anything else? Just hang in there. I promise I'll find a way to get you out. Sooner the better.
advanced into planet Zin, I want to make sure he didn't booby trap any of the clothes there with infectious code. Go buy something. If nothing bad happens, then it's probably safe. good right now.
rim jobs work on a car will save the vehicle data for you to load later. Why don't you take a car there and customize it or something?
registers seem to be loose bits of code left behind by the simulation for some reason. I've only been able to locate a small amount right now, which I'm having trouble locking onto. Once in the general area of a cluster, I should be able to direct you to its location. Kinsey, why are you sending me after these things? And where exactly are they? I'm still trying to figure out precisely what they are, but they seem like they'll be useful. There are several near my warehouse. I can't pinpoint their exact locations, but I marked the general areas for you. Oh. Okay. Got it. Watch your proximity meter to see if you're getting closer to the cluster, or farther away. Oh, I love this song. Kenzie, Kenzie, you gotta sing this with me. No, I don't think so. Come on. I'll let you be the cat. <laughs> Not gonna happen. We come together. Come on, now your turn. Come on. And you know it. It ain't fiction. Come on! Hey! No. Kenzie, it's an order from your president. Fuck that. See? See? This is why no one likes you. He steals the covers. I didn't like to meet. And he makes a mess. I can't. Fuck you. Alright, got another. I have to get you to record my voicemail message. This data is amazing. Incomplete, but amazing. Oh, I know I'm gonna regret this. How is it amazing? It seems that anything that broke the normal rules of the simulation deposited loose data that can be incorporated into your programming. Holy shit! I actually kinda understand that. Ha! Ah. But since the data is so fragmented, it doesn't leave behind a complete subroutine to loop into your code base. Nope, never mind. You're talking gibberish again. Ugh. It's simple. The more clusters you get, the more you can upgrade and alter your abilities. Now we're talking the same language. So, three of these enough? Still missing some key fragments. Get one more and we'll see. So, if these data thingies... Uh, clusters. Fine, clusters. If they can be so useful, then why isn't Zinyak sending his people out to collect them? Why would they need them? Give his people a boost or something? I don't know. You're the one who sent them. If Zinyak wants to change the code for his people, he can just... He wrote the simulation! Well, what about keeping us from... You know what? Never mind. I'm just gonna accept this and move on. Probably better that way. What's that weird noise? Shit! Zinyak destroyed my apartment?! Ugh. That place should have been condemned a long time ago. Condemned. Ugh, it's an ugly word. It had character. That should be enough. Let's see what I can do here. Check your hub. Let me load up a training program for you to test your powers. Oh, 
What am I supposed to do in here? The code says you can jump long distances and run at super high speeds. How about starting with a small jump? Okay, try focusing on charging your jump. That should get you higher. How the hell am I supposed to jump up that? Try pushing off from the wall each jump. I can climb walls? It'd be more accurate to say you can jump up them repeatedly. Same difference. <laughs> this time I blew the buildings apart. Try making that jump. I'm liking this. Okay, now for the big test. Use your super speed to get a running start and leap to that opposite building. Come on, you gotta be joking. Just try it. 